Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's another quarantine vlog. I have this um, beach towel actually on my head because I've just had a shower, my hair's soaking, so thought I'd cover that up. I thought to start this vlog, I would do kind of like a little get ready with me because I actually need to show you this product because it's insane. It's bank holiday weekend, it's sunny outside, blue skies, a little bit windy, but we can, we can deal with that. I actually still get excited for the weekends because obviously I am still working. So when it's the weekends, I still get excited because it's, the, it's like my little downtime to just do what I want, you know? By the way, I've changed the settings on my camera and I can't tell if it's better quality, but Maybe you can let me know. I feel like it looks better in the viewfinder, but I can't actually tell. So hopefully it is a little bit better. I thought I would start this quarantine vlog by doing my makeup because I need to show you a dupe for the Abiterry CC serum that everyone is raving about. And honestly, I have found the best drugstore dupe ever. I actually spoke about this in a video like a few maybe like a month ago in like my favorite beauty products at the moment um it's the l'oreal glow cherie i don't really know what it is i don't know if it's a foundation it just says natural glow enhancer but from what i've seen from the by terry cc serum this is literally an exact dupe for it i thought i would just put it on and show you so you can use your fingers with this but i'm just going to use a brush just because i hate getting like product on my fingers i don't know why so this is in the shade medium glow um and let me put it on so you can see what i mean it gives you like the lightest coverage but it gives you such a nice color to your skin and also just like the most natural glow i really want to do like a glowy natural makeup look this morning so that's what we're going for you should probably use an actual mirror really i really like it because you can still see my freckles through it and it just almost looks like it's a second skin at the moment i'm just not liking wearing really thick foundation it just makes me feel suffocated especially when it's hot outside so this is honestly my like go-to um most days if i'm gonna wear makeup I really do think that it's a great dupe for the Bioterry CC serum and this is literally like £10 because I mean the Bioterry one is what like £65? It's just a bit much. I don't even know what week of lockdown we're on now but I feel like people think lockdown's over like I'm really confused by it. I keep seeing people like in groups of friends and I'm just very confused by it all. Like, I guarantee this weekend there's going to be so many people at the beaches. Can you hear the wind? It's so intense. I feel like there's going to be a storm. I just love whatever this is so much. It's not a foundation. It's not a serum. It's not a BB cream. It's just... A liquid and I, I think it's great this is what it looks like so as you can probably tell it just gives like the lightest coverage but it just gives off such a nice glow and such a nice color to the skin and it actually lasts all day and I don't find that it goes super oily either if you want to get the by Terry CC serum I would definitely say try this first because it's £10 and from what I've seen, it literally does the same thing. Um, it's obviously just a much cheaper brand. So that is my dupe for you. Um, I just had to share that with you because I feel like this that serum is just going around everywhere at the moment and it's like the new big thing. Um, but not everyone can afford to spend that much on a serum so if you're one of those people definitely try this because it's great so now i'm just going to put a little bit of concealer under my eyes this is the l'oreal true match quite a lot actually because i did not get a good sleep last night like i had this massive bowl of pasta <laughs> at like 7 p.m and i tried to eat at like half five six 
and I just felt so bloated after it and I really feel like it caused me a bad night's sleep because I kept waking up I had so many nightmares I woke up and you know when you just feel like disgusting so this morning I just had a bowl of fruit and some yogurt and I feel much better much more cleansed oh my gosh okay this one spot is just sticking around i've also been loving doing a cream contour during lockdown um i use this rimmel insta duo contour stick i don't use the highlight side i just use the contour side but it's really good i don't have a lot left actually i just love using all like cream products because i i have quite dry skin and i feel like it just helps my skin to look a lot healthier Ta -da. i use the same brush for literally everything it's like i i have so many brushes oh let me show you this i got this new makeup brush holder look how fancy that is honestly it helped me so much it makes my desk look so much cleaner because at the moment with working from home i've turned my dressing table into like a at home work desk because i don't have anywhere else to put one i just needed something to clean it up a bit just makes me look a lot more bronzed so yesterday i bleached my mum's roots and i did a great job honestly i think i might take up a hairdresser as my little side hustle or actually my third side hustle because this is i guess this is my other side hustle and then hairdressing can be my third side hustle so i'm gonna have three jobs but honestly i thought it would go so wrong and it really went well and i didn't miss any parts of her roots which i really thought i would but yeah it went really well so i think I think I'm going to let her do mine uh, in about two weeks because we've ordered the stuff that I need and the toners and things like that. So, um, yeah, there's probably going to be a vlog coming your way in about two weeks where I bleach my hair and it could go very wrong. But I think it will make a good it will make a good video. So we're gonna do it. I can't wait another month to get my roots done because they're just getting out of hand, honestly. I feel like I just look so glowy. I love it. I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit of powder under my eyes. Right now I'm just gonna put some blusher on. I'm gonna use uh, actually no, let's use this one. I'm gonna use MAC. Okay, I don't know what shade this is because it's wiped off the back, but it's like a bright pink i think i'm just gonna let my hair dry naturally today because i've been putting so much heat on it recently i think it just wants a break i feel like blush really really defines your face it just makes you look healthy this is my favorite highlighter it's the mac soft and gentle mineralized skin finish and it's just you can actually put it all over your face like a powder or you can use like a smaller brush and turn it into a highlighter I honestly just kind of put this everywhere. Right, I've just turned the exposure down a bit because I think it was getting a little bit bright. This is what the highlighter looks like. Pretty. I'm not going to do eyeshadow today. Can't be asked. Don't have the energy. Look how much of a difference it makes when you just curl your lashes. I'm honestly really sorry if like the footage goes a bit funny, but today is my first day trialing like manual settings on my camera, which is ridiculous because i've literally had this camera for like three years but i just want to improve the quality i actually need to order a new mascara because i'm running out i'm running out of a lot of things actually i haven't been in a shop since lockdown happened how crazy is that i'm too scared we get oh my god i haven't even done my eyebrows what am i doing i've did, done this in a weird order so i actually use two products for my eyebrows i use the brow archery by soap and glory first so i just brush them through i don't really have eyebrows so it's not the easiest and then i use i'm actually nearly nearly run out of this i use this little part to shape out my eyebrows so i do the top and bottom like that and then i use a gel to actually fill them in so sometimes i use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade but today i'm going to use this one this is by benefit uh, and it's Cabral. I like this one because it's a more natural shade. Uh, it's in the shade Blonde, I think. Uh, or number one. Number one. I've actually nearly run out of this. Uh, you only get a little pot. That is my eyebrows done. 
Does anyone else have lip liners that they just don't use anymore because they need to be sharpened and you can't be bothered to sharpen them? Or is that just me? I forgot to blend this bit out. I'm gonna use this lipstick today. My go-to is normally Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, uh, but today I'm gonna use this one. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cans, and it's a beautiful pink color. When I do a natural kind of skin look, I always like to do just like a nice bright color, just cause I feel like it makes you look really well put together. So then to finish, I'm just gonna use my Pixie Glow Mist which I'm running low on and I absolutely love it. And that is my makeup look for today. I'm gonna take my hair out of this turban because it's oh, a little bit too much. So I actually toned my hair this morning just with a purple shampoo. But yeah, I think I'm gonna let it dry naturally. I'm just gonna put some oil through the ends of my hair. It's suddenly, you know how I said it was nice and sunny? It's now suddenly gone cloudy and grey and dark. So I think it's going to rain, which is great. And then I always put leave-in conditioner in my hair as well because my hair needs it. Don't know what I'm going to wear today. It's just my skin up close. It's honestly such a nice product and it just makes your skin look amazing like this is hardly any makeup but it's like completely transformed my skin wow i keep on looking at these camera settings and just thinking are these okay or are they bad so this is what i'm wearing today literally the most boring simple thing this gray hoodie i think is from new look and then i have my cycling shorts on because it's actually not that warm outside it's suddenly gone really gray and cloudy it's only 16 degrees which I don't think is particularly warm. The only thing that's stressful about having your camera on manual settings is that you constantly have to adjust the light depending on where you are. And I prefer to just, you know, walk and let it let it do its own thing, but I don't know. These are the best investment I've ever made, my cycling shorts. They're from Nasty Gal and they were five pound and they're just the best thing I've ever bought because you can literally put them on with everything and especially at the moment because it's not like warm outside but it's not cold they're perfect my hair is literally falling out you can definitely tell that I put purple shampoo on last night hmm. <laughs> look at these I just don't know why mum does this to me there's always something unhealthy that makes me just want to not do my diet although it is a saturday and normally saturdays are my cheat days but because i had that big bowl of pasta yesterday <laughs> i just feel like i feel like i need a cleanse also look at my nails so i've actually decided and this is a big statement i'm about to make i've decided that after lockdown i'm not going to get acrylics again i mean i might at some point let's be honest but i just think they look really nice just painted and they're so much easier to manage my nails are just getting like strength again they feel... my nails just feel... my nails just feel so much so yeah they're this beautiful red color i don't have to stick with one color for four weeks i can just switch it up when i feel like it i just don't have the time to get acrylics these days like it's just such an inconvenience having to go out and get acrylics you know i've hit that point in the day where i don't know what to do it's only 12 48 and i literally don't know what to do i'm bored but i think that i'm gonna read i actually wanted to talk to you about this book that i've just started reading so i saw sophia from sophia and chinzia recommend this and it's like a thriller and i love thrillers like they're my favorite so i got it it's called the couple next door and i've started reading it i'm like this much through so i still have a lot to go it's so good so far it's like really suspenseful like you want to you want to go on to the next page it's not like a slow burner it's like right into the drama which i love but yeah so i think i might read some more of this because i've just hit that point where I don't know what to do with myself. I feel like since lockdown, I've become a workaholic. Like, it's not normal. Because I feel like I have nothing else to do. All I do is work. And 
I've got into a really bad habit with working from home where I'll literally check my work phone and my work emails like at one in the morning and it's really bad because when I used to go to work I would come back from work and that would be it like once I was back from work I wouldn't check my work phone I would just like switch off for the day whereas because I'm working from home when I finished work it doesn't feel like I finished work so I literally like this is so bad the other day I literally did work at half one in the morning because I couldn't sleep like that's not normal <laughs> i just check my work phone all the time so if anyone has any tips if you're working from home how do you switch off after finishing a working day because i just can't do it it's honestly just ridiculous like why am i checking my emails at one in the morning I, like i don't need to please tell me other people are struggling with this because I feel like I'm going insane. Anyway, I'm going to read this <laughs> to hopefully distract my mind. I really love reading at the moment. I feel like it really helps to take my mind away from things. And I try to read every night before bed. Like I put my phone down and then I won't look at my phone and I'll just read a book. But that hasn't been going too well. So I need to get more into doing that. So if you're looking for a book to read, definitely recommend this one. I finished my other one, which was The Keeper of Lost Things like two weeks ago. And that is really good if you like a nice, cute read. Like if you just like something simple you know like nothing bad happens it's just it's just nice that's what i'm gonna do might do some online shopping because i haven't actually spent any money for this whole month which is a record i just made a really spontaneous oh look at teddy guys if you remember teddy then you've been watching my vlogs for a while so i just made a really spontaneous <laughs> amazon order after watching a tiktok <laughs> I saw this TikTok of this like painting challenge. It just inspired me and it made me want to get a paint kit. So, so this is what I ordered. So I got a paintbrush set, a canvas, some acrylic paint and a little mixing bowl for the paint. Honestly, this was a really spontaneous purchase. I don't even really know what I've ordered. But yeah, I just I've been inspired by these TikToks. Like I literally was I clicked on the sound. Like you know how on TikTok you can click on the sound and then you can scroll through. I clicked on her sound and I watched the original and I just was looking at everyone's and they were all so amazing and I feel like painting's really good for like your mind. I'm actually really excited for it to arrive. It came to like over £30. I feel like it will give me something fun to do. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I haven't even started my book yet because I just got distracted on my phone, which always happens. Always. It's now half one. I feel so bored today and I don't know why. Like I don't normally feel this bored, but today I feel really, really bored. Okay, so I haven't actually even read my book. I'm gonna make something to eat because I'm hungry. I always, now that I'm doing these what I eat in a day videos, I feel like I shouldn't vlog what I eat. So I think I'm gonna have avocado, egg and tomatoes on toast, even though it's 2 p.m. and that's more of like a brunch, but it's fine. These tomatoes are honestly the best. They're like the ones that are on the vines. Yeah, I'm gonna make that because I haven't, all I've eaten today really is fruit, yogurt and a little bit of granola. But for some reason, I'm not that hungry. I think probably because I wake up really bloated. <laughs> and I found out that for dinner, we're having pasta. That's two days in a row. But this pasta's a bit healthier. So last night, I had just like, you know, when you just make loads of pasta. I put loads of mayonnaise in it. I put cheese on it. So it just wasn't very healthy. But um, tonight's is more of an actual meal. So yeah, hopefully it won't be that bad. I literally set these camera settings by watching a YouTube video. And I just don't know if they're gonna look good or not. So when I'm editing this back, but we've got to try, you know, we've got to try new things. If I'm editing this back and it looks awful, then I'll just put it back onto auto, but I'm just trying to be more professional, you know? this is my lunch Ta -da. 
that the egg looks very ugly compared to what a poached egg would look like but i just was in the mood for that so yeah i'm actually really hungry now i can't even tell you how tired i am i've literally just been laying in bed trying not to fall asleep and i just feel so tired obviously i didn't sleep well last night but i think i've just had such a busy week and it's all just caught up on me and now i'm just so tired so i can't wait to have an early night it's like five o'clock now so i'm gonna have dinner soon i feel like these vlogs are just so boring but there's nothing else that i can vlog i haven't even gone out for a walk today because um it's so windy and i just can't be bothered for that look how bad my roots are it's honestly they're, they're getting so bad i was actually meant to go to the hairdressers last saturday a week ago uh i mean i don't actually hate my roots i feel like it makes my blonde look a bit more <laughs> natural i don't know what do you guys think kind of want to get a balayage in the future but yeah i'm gonna try and keep myself awake because i don't think it's good to nap because especially for me it means that i just don't sleep at night right i've just put my little i don't know what you call this it's what do you call this it's like a dressing gown but you wear it it's really cute i only normally wear this during winter but i'm just i just need it right now so i had my dinner um it was really nice but i feel really fat because i had pasta again for the second day in a row i'm actually just having some wine which i haven't had for months honestly i haven't drunk alcohol for months this is echo falls so it's not really that strong i think i'm gonna watch some gossip girl what's the time today i've been so bored like i swear to you i have not been this bored in the whole of lockdown it's 7 16 i'm tired honestly i could go to bed right now but i'm gonna make myself stay up because i don't actually want to do that hmm. so yeah i think i'm gonna just get into bed watch gossip girl i just i'm just exhausted <laughs> But yeah, it's weird, like, so many people are obviously really bored in lockdown, but I just haven't been one of those people. Like, I haven't been super bored, whereas today I feel, like, super bored, and I don't really know why. I think it's just because I've had such a hectic week that having nothing to do apart from, like, vlogging, obviously, it, I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, my God, my mum has just got back from the shop, and she said that she's got me sweets this is what i needed to give me a bit of a boost here are my sweets so i have an amazon fire stick so i can actually watch netflix on my tv because fun fact my tv is actually well my tv is not broken the aerial connection into my tv is broken so i can't actually watch tv on it which is really annoying but i have an amazon fire tv stick which lets me watch netflix and stuff but i have to plug my extension lead if you can see it there into the fire stick for it to actually work because my tv is quite old so it doesn't have enough power to power it by itself so i'm not gonna lie it's a bit inconvenient to switch the tv on <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna eat my sweets i dread to think how much sugar are in these but you know what it's one of those days my spot definitely won't appreciate it but this spot on my head is actually <laughs> not okay it's literally aggressive look let's just hold you down here so you don't have to see that so i'm gonna end this vlog here but yeah i hope this vlog has been kind of interesting i feel like it's a little bit difficult at the moment with lockdown and it's just the same thing really anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in my next video bye guys